Predators across the animal kingdom face a common challenge, and that is to spot, track, and capture fast-moving prey. Humans, of course, face a similar challenge in some of the sports we play. My name is Dr. Jennifer Talley. I'm a researcher at the Integrated Sensing and Processing Sciences Branch at Eglin Air Force Base. I'm interested in understanding how humans and other animals see the world. Specifically, we study how a group of predatory flies called robber flies solve the problem of visually tracking tiny, fast-moving prey. Flies are an interesting study organism because their visual system is at least 10 times faster than ours. We perceive a video playing at 30 frames per second as fluid motion, whereas a fly sees that at more than 150 frames per second, albeit highly pixelated. And because flies see so fast, they're able to rapidly take in information and react incredibly quickly. We humans make up for our slower visual system by predicting the movement of an object. Here's a simple example of how that prediction works. As soon as this dot moves, we center our view on it. This is so that light reflected from the object of interest hits the sharpest part of our retina called the fovea. These quick eye movements are called cicades. Once our eyes are on the object, we can follow it smoothly, but only as long as the object also moves slowly. At a certain speed, tracking objects via smooth pursuit fails. That is, our eyes are no longer on the target as it moves. In this case, our brain switches to another system and our eyes start tracking with predictive saccades. That is, our eyes move quickly to where the brain predicts an object will be and then they stay put. The stability permits gathering further information about the fast object and updates our estimate of its trajectory. Our eyes then predictively jump again. These saccade fixate cycles repeat until our eyes have gathered enough information to make a decision. Predictive saccades require an internal model of an object's direction and speed, which is a pretty complex process. Humans and some mammals have the capacity to switch between smooth and predictive saccades. But because flies have ultra-fast vision and reaction time, scientists had assumed they wouldn't need to rely on predictive saccades to track prey. After all, why go to the trouble of building an internal model if your reflexes are fast enough to catch the target? For our current study, we tested this assumption. We wanted to know how saffron robber flies track their targets. Do they track a moving target by predicting where it will be and looking there, aka predictive saccades, or do they just track prey in a purely reactive way based on having a really high-speed visual system? I worked with Dr. Paloma gonzalez Beito and her grad student Sadant Pustikar at the University of Minnesota to run a series of experiments in the field around Eglin Air Force Base in Florida. The first thing our team learned was that the saffron robber fly uses light reflected from a flying beetle's wing as a predatory cue. We found that flies followed and attacked a fast-moving light that flickered at 100 hertz, which is roughly the wing beat of three different beetle prey species. But they rejected a light that flickered at either a faster or a slower rate. To test whether robber flies merely react to or can predict the movements of these lights, we used high-speed cameras and custom software to figure out the precise angle of the fly's eyes relative to a moving LED. We found that indeed, saffron robber flies employ predictive saccades. Their gaze would point about two and a half degrees ahead of the LED, fixate on it until the simulated beetle caught up, then saccade to two degrees ahead of where it would be next. This finding was rather surprising, given her previous assumption that flies would track moving targets with a reactive strategy. Despite very different eyes and different brain physiology, the fixate saccade visual tracking we found in these flies is quite similar to how humans and other vertebrates track targets. You might be thinking, this is cool, but why is a biologist studying this for the Air Force? Well, we're already testing wide field of view optical hardware that was bio-inspired by research on how fly eyes work. Our current study applies more to the software and how we can mine biological systems to help us not only invent simpler and more robust sensors, but also improve the software that analyzes that visual data. The robber flies in our study have eyes with quite a low resolution, but it's really all they need. They don't need to see a beetle in full resolution as we would. 
because they use the flicker rate of those wing reflections as a hunting cue. Down the road, we hope this leads to engineered devices with the same or better performance using cheaper sensors and more efficient processing.